Now we're gonna move on to the final phase of wound healing, and that is the remodeling phase. And this occurs at around three weeks and goes on for years. Okay, so what are the goals of the remodeling phase? So the goals of the remodeling phase are we gotta turn that weak type three collagen into strong type one collagen. We want to reduce or get rid of unnecessary capillaries, unnecessary blood vessels. We want to improve tensile strength of that wound. And of course, we want to flatten scar tissue. Well, how does this happen? Well, the reason this happens is because fibroblasts, they're the ones, even though they deposited type 3, they're also going to transition type 3 to type 1 collagen. The myofibroblasts, they're gonna contract that wound, and once they are done contracting the wound, they're gonna apoptose, they're gonna self-destruct. I mean, how cool is that? Initially, we noticed that a wound might be pink or red. Well, that's because there are a lot of capillaries. Well, over time, those endothelial cells that are not needed anymore, they also undergo apoptosis, and what you'll notice is that the redness and the pinkness in a wound begins to go away, and the scar becomes more pale. That's a sign of the remodeling phase. How are macrophages involved? Well, they secrete matrix metalloproteinases. Man, I, I said that a lot in the wound healing lectures, and these are important in the remodeling process. And then, of course, keratinocytes finalize reepithelialization re if it's not already complete. So these are all kind of goals and processes that are happening in this fourth phase, the remodeling phase. Now, one question we talked about, we need to improve tensile strength. Well, that's happening as type 3 collagen is being converted to type 1 collagen. Well, we can see in this graph here that tensile strength is very low. Let's say 15% at one week. That goes up to about 30% at three weeks and then only maxes out at about 80% after eight to 12 weeks, okay? So it is incredibly important to know that a scar is never gonna go back to its normal strength. It's gonna be strong, about 80% of normal tensile strength and it's gonna take eight to 12 weeks to get there, but it's really only gonna achieve that 80% 